Does anyone else watch a whole series of something and then proceed to download the entire soundtrack? And movies as well, actually. Do the same with movies, literally. I'm that girl that Shazam's in the cinema. Speaking of cinemas, wow, who remembers what a cinema is? Hello guys, hope you are all doing well. Welcome to another vlog. <sighs> day is it who knows who knows at this point it's february it's hot in this house i'll tell you that has anyone ever i think this is my caption that i'm going to actually i said put your bikini on turn up your heat in and tell me you're not in the south of france <laughs> honestly you've got to trick the brain but i've done that too i've literally just got a t-shirt on and the sun, I can see the sun shining and the heating is tricking me. Like I'm tempted to go and open the doors and it'd be like a summer's day and let the sun shine through, except I'll probably freeze. So that's cute. Just washed my hair. Needed to do it right. The camera's gonna stop, I can see. One sec. Okay, there we go. Now we cleared some storage. Honestly, this is the how it works every week. I start a new vlog because we're vlogging a lot more. There's my ca my camera's always full. But yeah, start the week, start fresh. Get your books out, guys. Let's say what we want to achieve this month, month, week. Well, you we can do a month if you if you want to jump ahead. But yeah, like to start the week positive. I've had a lovely shower, washed my hair. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get loads of content done today. I feel like if you start the week and get loads of your jobs done, then obviously you have more time later in the week to just chill. Um, I did a video, a clip in our vlog, was it last week or the week before, I'm not sure. And I, it was like a time lapse, so you didn't really see much and the lighting was rubbish. And I still get questions all the time about how I do my hair. My hair is in amazing condition at the moment. Can't lie to you, I get, must get asked every day. Have you re-dyed your hair? How did your hair look so glossy? I have not re-dyed my hair, nothing. Even my hairdresser was like, are you sure you're not box dyeing your hair? I was like, I am honestly not. I just really like to try and take care of my hair where I can. And yeah, I just feel like having the chop going dark and using good products has done me the world of good and yeah i was just gonna do a little low down so i'll try and keep it short and sweet it is quite simple but yeah before i use my hot brush i like to obviously protect my hair i use this i actually use a lot of the hair burst products i'll show you as i go through this is the volume and growth elixir so this does a lot of things and i love this i've literally used this for years and this smells really nice avocado and coconut so this is what in, in this is what improves the gloss and the shine in my hair and also it has a heat protectant in it which is so important i feel like i would have kind of been like avoiding the point of cutting my hair if i was just going to go kill it off because I, I do use quite a lot of heat in my hair i can't lie like with my job and stuff i feel like girls nowadays we do use a lot of heat on our hair so it's important to keep it fresh and protected oh it says on the back what it does so it adds volume improve appearance of hair quality so that 100 does that uh contribute to fuller looking hair improves gloss literally all of the above maybe i'll insert some pics of what my hair's been looking like i'll head over to my instagram honestly even if i do so to myself my hair's been looking mighty fine and then provides UV heat and pollution protection. So that is why I love this and it smells unbelievable. So I just spritz it all over my hair. And yeah, it's obviously been growing extremely quick as well. And I'm in a bit of a rut at the moment. I'm not really sure, like, do I want to stay short? I'm such a like long hair summer girl and obviously I've never had this short hair before. So it's gonna be weird thinking am I gonna go into summer with short hair? Do I grow it out? Do you know what I mean? 
I don't really know. But yeah, at the moment it is growing really fast. So if we carry on like this, we're in February. No joke, you heard it here first. If I don't drop it anymore, I reckon I can get it down to at least here by the summer. Fact. Nip length. I honestly think. Trust me. So then I section my hair and I get my hot brush. And now I've got my heat protectant on, I can go through. And I still am going to add a little time lapse here because no one actually wants to sit and watch me do this for this long. Actually, to be honest, whilst I have you here, there is another product that I've absolutely been loving by Hairburst. I want to get the name completely right. Is the Lash and Brow Enhancer. So I literally, the best time to put it on, I'd say, is the morning. But if you're going to put on mascara and stuff straight away, maybe even in the evenings but whilst i'm getting ready this is a great time to show you i've got a mirror here by the way if you think i'm doing a side eye but this honestly has improved the growth of my eyelashes and eyebrows so much they were getting a bit sparse i don't know if you remember me saying again in a vlog we vlog too much i can't think might have even been during vlogmas and my eyebrows were getting a little bit gappy in the middle. But they look really full now. And they actually look quite well groomed. But I do think that this has helped a whole bunch. And I know a lot of people struggle to grow their lashes. The applicator is absolutely astonishing, by the way. It's just a really nice, smooth wand. I really like it. And yeah, you put this on morning, night, does it say stuff? Starting with a clean, my phone's going off. Clean dry area, brush the serum onto the brows and lashes every evening. So I put it on in the morning, but I'm sure I won't get told off. But obviously you can sleep through it then. Results should be observed four to six weeks. So give this a little try. I've probably been using this since the start of the year. And I will show you once my makeup's on. I do have very long eyelashes and yeah, I feel like this has definitely helped. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving Hairburst. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know I've used their products on and off for years now, probably even since I started Instagram. And yeah, I'll leave a link if you want to go shop any of their products down below, but I highly recommend they do shampoo and conditioner. Their shampoo and conditioner smells unbelievable. It's the same fragrance as the Elixir. And they do little gummies, they do loads, so definitely go and check them out. But I'm going to carry on with my hair now, and I will show you after. Stick around and I'll show you my eyelashes. I can't lie, my eyelashes are very long. But yeah. Gonna start my hair. Before I start, I just want to say the best way to use a hot brush is to have your hair like 50% dry, I'd say. So I don't know if you can see, but my hair has started to dry quite a lot, but it's quite wet at the root. And I did see a TikTok and people said that this is the best way to use them. And I definitely noticed a difference. I wouldn't do it with soaking wet hair because it would just take so long because obviously you need to dry your hair as well. So if it's already kind of dry, but then don't do it super dry. Like don't, I, it has to be damp, you know? Anyway, let's, let's go. Okay, I've just finished hair and makeup. So I wanted to show you close up of my lashes I've gone a bit blurry let's zoom might take you by the window actually better light uh, oh my god I keep looking at this coat and I keep thinking it's a human oh god god it's bright Jeez! but look how glossy my hair is it honestly oh god that is bright I'm normally good with sunlight but yeah that is my secret. I am so happy with the condition of my hair at the moment. And obviously, look at the length of my lashes and brows. It's a good time. 
it's a time to be alive anyway i'm gonna crack on with my day and like i said all the hair burst products will be in the description box i'll see you in a little while i just i've got my coat on because i literally just popped out i went to my friends to pick up something and i want to get her instagram right she's called the little crafts with an x so like a little kiss and I'll put it on the screen, but definitely go check her out. She's like a little small up and coming business and she's amazing. I've got stuff from her before. She's actually one of my longest friends ever. And I can show you this because the video will be up by the time. Let me think. Yeah, we would have filmed this so Elle would have seen it. So it's fine. This video will already be up. So go check it out. But we're going to do a Valentine's gift swap. And basically, she does like personalization little boxes, and she actually fills the boxes if you want. She does like positivity boxes throughout lockdown. She's honestly the best. She has oh, the cutest little brand ever, and it's just so perfect for what we wanted to do. And I know Elle has no idea about this, so it says Happy Valentine's Elle. And then I'm pretty sure, so she does all different color boxes and everything. Yeah, she's, she told me she's gonna put some things in it. So she's put a little foam heart in and then some tissue paper and just, oh my God, oh my God, it smells unreal. She's giving me a card, which is perfect. So I always forget cards, always. Happy Valentine's. And then there's, I'll show you, like shredded tissue paper and petals, sweets, little fake roses. And this is literally perfect because we are doing the gift swap and I've already bought some gifts so I can wrap them now. I've got some heart tissue paper which I'm going to wrap everything with and then I can put everything in and it's ready for our gift swap which we're going to do tomorrow. So that will be Monday and then I think it throws it off slightly but you won't really care because it would have been done by now. We want to get this up this swap up for sunday because it's actually valentine's day sunday but then we upload our vlog sunday so not really sure what we're going to do there but i know oh got a random rose here i might put that in for l and yeah and a heart lolly why have i got so much valentine's stuff but yeah i think it's perfect timing i'm excited we've never done a galentine swap but we've done this is so cute We've done gift swaps obviously before, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm intrigued to know what else got me. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit of light-hearted fun, and it is late in the day till I've done nothing. It's 10 to 3. I've been to Sainsbury's, I got some breakfast because I didn't have anything in the cupboards. And that's about it. And it's Sunday, so I don't really plan too much. I might wrap some of these little gifts to put in the box but i don't know yeah but if i do anything fun i'll keep you posted if not i will see you throughout the week good morning guys look at the snow bit pathetic i think it's like in between mix of rain and snow so it's not settling but i actually really don't like the snow random fact I think it's pretty to look at, but once you've actually got to go get it out and go in it, um, no, that's when it becomes a bit, not a bit of me. But I just had a Zoom call with my dermatologist, who I've been seeing for years now from Udello Clinic in Vauxhall in London. Not sponsored at all. I pay a lot of money to go to the appointments. I paid for that Zoom call. And um, just because I've been getting some problems around my nose. Oh my God, you can see really clear. And I did speak about it on my Instagram recently. It's not even, I don't even, I'm over the shallowness of that, the look, because everyone gets spots, most people get spots. My skin could be so much worse, but it's the fact that it's really, really painful. It's really sore, it's like, picture a paper cut that's the pain i'm in and it's so dry and i don't want to be messing around so i don't know if i'm using the wrong products so i just wanted to have that call and she's gonna send me over some prescriptions to try some different sorts of creams and ointments and stuff but we think it might be a little bit of eczema which isn't that strange i've had eczema before i used to get eczema on my hands my sister gets eczema 
are really bad like on her arms any creases she gets them which to be fair this is like a crease area isn't it and also because of the weather coming in and out so cold coming into heating it can like just break which to be fair a lot of people in my dm said it's normally a weather thing when you get skin problems like that so shout out you guys you little dermatologist in the making but i'm gonna have some brekkie Elle has just texted me that she's gonna pop by not in the house but she's gonna pick up her valentine's box and she's gonna give me my presents and then we will film the Valentine's gift swap. And then today I've got, I'm gonna put some makeup on and take some Instagram pictures. And then at about three o'clock, I'm taking my nan to her mammogram because getting your mammograms and your cervic, cervical checks, what's that called? What is that called? You guys know what I'm talking about. The test that people dread, but you have to do it because it's important. My nan actually had breast cancer about three years ago, I wanna say. And we got really lucky that it was caught in time and she had an operation and had the lymph nodes removed. But because it, I don't really know the ins and outs, but basically she needs, she's in that age category where it's important that she goes and has appointments and checkups i think every six months so this is her six month checkup fingers crossed all good i've got good vibes i think it'll be all good but yeah it's important so if you are i think it's over 25 i want to say smear test that's what it is so your mammograms and smear tests actually i feel like you don't get a mammogram till you're really old actually not really old but like later in life which Personally, I don't think it's good. I think any, I think you should be entitled to have the checkups as we have boobs. Oh, I could go so deep into it all, but that's coming from someone that's lost a family member to cancer because things weren't spotted early on. But anyway, let's not dwell. And I'm gonna make myself a bacon sony and let's get this snowy day going. I wanna put fake tan on, but my skin just feels too sensitive today, so we'll just be the pale little Sid that I am. Also, I can officially say it, I get the keys to my apartment next week. Oh, hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I was planning to vlog this morning, I was planning to vlog just now, but I got a little bit sidetracked. But I'm just going to fill you in. Um, this morning, me and Sid filmed a little Valentine's video, which is a gift swap. And I'm going to, I think Sid put this in the vlog already. But yeah, now I've just filmed it. I have it with me. And it is the cutest little box. Um, I'm not going to show you what's inside because obviously you'll have to go and watch the video. Um, so yeah, this morning we did a little doorstop swap. But, yeah, it's still really snowing as well. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, so we did a little doorstop give, um, gift swap this morning. And then I came back here um, to film it, basically. This is my make-do sofa at the moment. So Charlotte and Ellis dropped this round as well. So it's a really nice blow-up bed. Um, so I can sleep on it and have it as like a sofa. And I've just put this throw over it. Um, I've just had someone come and look at my kitchen to see if they can change all the doors and the colour scheme and stuff. I think I've mentioned before that I want it done. Um, I don't know if you guys can see but it just looks quite dark um, and obviously I want like a very light and airy flat. Um, so I am going to try and change the doors but yeah he's just come round and obviously I didn't really feel like it was appropriate to vlog whilst he was here um but when i get it done i will definitely be filming some of the process um but yeah that's what i've done today and it is now half past three um and yeah i'm gonna try and make a little setup to take some instagram pictures to be fair even though it's really simple it's literally a blow up bed and a white wall with a cream throw 
it's a really nice background and the lighting's quite nice and it's yeah the snow is making it like even brighter um but yeah that's pretty much what i've done today i'll show you pictures because i took pictures of the panels so you can see the gray in the background and they look really white but they were like a stony sort of color um so yeah um i think i'm supposed to be having someone come around uh next week to give me a price as well but these ones are really nice so obviously it would be the whole um like the gray is what it is now and that would be the color with that i'm gonna have it's just like a really nice stone color um and it's really white but yeah that's what i've been doing oh my god i never showed this morning i woke up to this delivery from sid and it said i'm trying not to get the brand in it it says to the next chapter proud of you proud of us we did it and then she sent that was my speaker she sent me these and i had one this morning for breakfast um let me show you ready oh one sec this is where i need to learn all the new angles in the flat how cute oh oh can you see i don't think you can see Oh my god, I'm really trying to not drop these. They say homeowner and they are crispy creams. How unreal. They smell amazing, so I might have to have another one. Um, but yeah, I'm really making do with um, my, what's it called? Kitchen at the moment and my eating. So, yeah, I've got a few bits. I've got these shreddies, which I don't really love, but my mum was like, just take them. Uh, I've got a loaf of bread, just a mini little loaf. Got some popcorn. Um, yeah, some oil, some crisps. And then in the fridge, I've just got some chocolate. <laughs> um, Georgia left these for me. So nice. I'm going to crack on now. I'm going to show you the snow as well. Look at the snow. <gasps> wow it's a bit later now um i am changed well i am changed um had to do some content this jump was so nice from super dry and self timer thing because yeah on my own but um i honestly just love it here like i, I always knew i'd love living alone but just the area and the view, like I think we've said before, that we have um, a river right in front of our balcony and it is so calming and relaxing. I'll try and show you guys um, at night when it's dark, but it is so therapeutic that like, you can just see the ripples in the river, it's so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly loving it, I can't lie. I don't know what to do for dinner yet. I have had takeaways pretty much since I've been here, yeah since i've been here um but never mind that's okay because that's expected when you move right um i'm not gonna just jump in and start cooking every night but yeah i'm just having a sort out all the time and doing as much as i can really um i don't know when i can get people in to help me kind of decorate obviously covid it's very difficult um to do things like that at the moment but yeah i'm just i'm just loving it guys i'm just taking it all in and obviously i want things to get done but i'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself um because like oh my god this lip liner sorry about that um because i'm just trying to enjoy it and take it all in as it is um but yeah that's my that's me now this is me <laughs> can't believe it still doesn't feel real i don't know if you guys can see that but it is mesmerizing i swear it's just like 
So relaxing. Oh, yeah, on. Here we go. So relaxing. So nice to just stare at. I just love, like, lighting candles is literally my guilty pleasure. I've said it from the start of when I was moving. It's the thing I'm most excited for. I love this, by the way. This is, like, my little setup before it goes in a coffee table. Sick or miss, but for Christmas. This little hurricane thing it's called is from Next. I think it came with the candle. Maybe it didn't, but... Um, yeah, I love it so, so much. So I don't know where I can put you guys. Yeah, lighting candles is literally the most exciting thing ever for someone that's just moved. My dad is gonna like probably have a heart attack when he sees me lighting candles, but sorry, it's gotta be done. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Stunning, can't wait for the whole apartment to be just covered in candles. I have hit an all time new level of boring life. It's come to a point where I can't even pick the camera up from the vlog because I'm doing nothing but <laughs> put on a new tracksuit. So I thought that's a bit interesting. I've not put the joggers on yet because I've just got other joggers on. But this is really nice, this colour. This colour was a big hit at the end of last year, that forest green. This is part of Sarah Ashcroft's new um, misguided edit, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, really cosy. Haven't had a misguided trackie in a while, but just did a little order the other day. I got a really nice underwear set at Chile. And then I just got a Zara delivery, which I ordered the other day. Where can I prop you up? Probably in my normal place. A bit low actually. No, it would have to do. But I got some home bits from Zara, so I'll go through that quickly. And very, very happy with my purchases. So I got some tea. Oh, I need a better angle. It's very dark. Let's go over here. I'll have to bring the box over. Actually, I can just stand here. It's fine. So I got some tea towels. Because I'm moving next week. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, these are like a nudie i don't know why it's purple at the bottom but like nude and cream so i got four of them because something i've learned living here on my own is that if there's one in the wash you need another one and then there's one on the go that's a bit damp and then i just think four was a good amount and they were quite affordable for zara home i think they were like 10 pounds for two so 20 pounds for four not too bad and hopefully they, they feel quite thick like they'll last and then i've not looked at the rest of this stuff so let's see what else i got oh i got mugs oh my god they're so big could you wear them oh my god they're so beautiful oh my god they're stunning oh my god look at that fix my job look at that oh my god She's so big. Oh my God. I was expecting something really small. I don't know what. <gasps> How many of them do I want? They are really nice with like tea towel. Right, so here's my dilemma. I've been buying really mixed match stuff and obviously it's just me, but eventually when lockdown's done, I will have guests. So no, I think two of these is okay. How many of these would you guys get? Let me know, but this is absolutely stunning. So I've got two of these. Have I just said that eight times? Yeah, but then I've got other mugs, which I, will, I can't show you because they're packed, but they're in a home haul coming soon. And I'm so happy with them. Oh, <laughs> this is good. So this matches the mugs. I love this paper that they're up in. It's like the most protective thing in the world. Oh my god. I should be a homeware queen. What the hell am I going to use this for? Nobody knows. But, doesn't matter. That is so beautiful. What is it? What is it? Like a tray? This one's huge. Yikes. don't know what they are. I think they're to serve stuff. I don't really know. 
Oh my god, look at them. So I see pretty sure in Zara they didn't even show what they put them in, but I liked them because obviously they went with the mugs. And there's me, the big mug that bought them and didn't know what they were. Again, I was expecting maybe this one to be the large one and then the big one to be... That is, in this one would be as big as this and then this one would be mini -er. I feel like this is good to maybe put nuts on <laughs> and this is good... A long fruit bar? I don't really know, but they're beautiful. They'll find a home for them, of course. Oh my god, I'm really happy. I think that's all I got. But um, I do think, yes, I got one more mark. Zara Home is pricey. I can't lie to you. Like, all that's going to. Um, I can't really remember. But I want to say about £100 because the mugs are about tenner. But, you know. You get what you pay for. I think they're beautiful. So I'll wrap them back up. And then I'm going to take some IG pics, I think. Which, again, this is why I can't really vlog too much. Because why would you want to watch my behind the scenes of me getting pics? I mean, some people have actually said, like, how do you take your pics? Where's your ring light from? So my ring light's from Amazon. My tripod I got in the airport. So like a, just an electrical store, but you can get tripods on Amazon. Just look, I'd say the best tip for shopping on Amazon is looking at reviews. And I always buy stuff that's um, prime, so next day. And I also got some other bits yesterday, actually. Let me quickly show you. Okay, so I have been getting a few orders. I don't know why I didn't pick the camera up yesterday, really. But I'll give you a quick glance. So I got some utensils and they'll match my smeg machine because they're like cream and knives exciting as ever and my um my area is getting a bit busy now but soon i can put it all in its home forever not forever but i feel like i don't want to move ever again but anyway i'm gonna crack on take some pics don't know what ones yet but this, I do think snow makes the nicest light. Like, look at that light. That's stunning. I think that's maybe nicer than the bright, mm, you know, bright sunlight. I think it's just such a nice light. I mean, it makes me look pale, but that's snow clouds. Anyway, better crack on, and I've made a big fat mess. I've made so much mess, so I need to clear up as well. But I will check in a little while later. Good morning everyone. Didn't really vlog last night, um, but never mind. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's like blue skies. Still a little bit of snow, but at least it's sunny. Um, yeah, it's th I think it's like half ten. I've been kind of just in bed doing a little bit of work and on my phone a lot of it. Um, I put these in the dishwasher last night and I said to my mum, like, because the first time I put the dishwasher on, um, that when it was done, it just opened. And she was like, that, like, I've never heard of that. But I did it again, so it must. And I think it's quite good because it was on quite a long wash last night. Um, and I didn't know when it was finished. Like, it would pause and then it would like carry on so the fact that it opens when it's um done is really good and here's me getting excited about a dishwasher i must be getting old oh god but now it's time to empty it <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a coffee and sadly I haven't brought my coffee machine over yet I'm not really sure why um, but I just haven't so I'm gonna make it the old-fashioned way uh, I made them a lot to like this in Portugal basically kind of TikTok trend so a little bit of coffee a little bit of sugar water and then mix that up add a little bit of milk I mean that's the iced version but I think I want mm, don't want hot or iced I don't know, maybe with a donut, 
we'll see. Um, I don't know if I've shown you my mugs on YouTube. I put them on my home and stuff, but they're so nice. They're from Denby, um, which I found on Amazon and where I showed my mom. She was like, Denby, that's a nice brand. I was like, is it? I don't know. Um, and also, have I even shown you that this is instant hot water? It's a good time. It's a good time. You can probably see the steam coming from it in a sec. There you go. So, yeah, one of my favourite things about this place is the instant hot water. Um, it's the little things in life nowadays, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to make this coffee. And then drink it. Also, these little tubs, I got mine from uh, Amazon. Um, this one's actually broken the lid, which is annoying, but never mind. It's just snapped. Um, they're really nice. They're glass. Are they glass? Yeah. They're glass um, containers, and I've put coffee, sugar, and tea in the other one. Oh, it's not the same as a um, coffee machine coffee, but beggars can't be choosy. It will have to do. Um, but the only thing is with the coffee machine is that it heats up the milk. Again, I know, very bougie, but it's made it a bit cold, so I'm gonna have to put it in the microwave. So this is my equivalent of a TV at the moment. My laptop, I'm just watching Anastasia, um, her moving vlog. Well, it's actually her living alone vlog because she's moved now. Um, she's living in Manchester, which I miss Manchester so much. It's such a cool place if you've not been. Hopefully you get a chance to. Um, one of my favorite places in the UK for sure. Um, but yeah, obviously can't go because of COVID. But as soon as we can go, me and Sid have already said, and Molly, I don't think Molly's been. We've already said we have to do a weekend there. It's so much fun. We've been on so many uh, brand trips there and there's so much to do. It's just like a more compact London. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just watching a little bit of TV. Well, it would be TV, but YouTube. I mean, I've watched probably more YouTube than TV anyway. Um, but yeah, just on my laptop for a bit whilst I kind of wake up and a shower. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of a food shop today. Um, get some bits. I don't have like essential bits like condiments. I mean, not that I've needed them yet, but I just want to stock up on things that will last. Like butter. Um, I want to get some like soup in case I need it. I haven't got pasta. Um... So yeah, just things like that basically, and obviously some more snacks, because living on your own. Um, to be fair, I haven't really snacked that much, but when I do, I want a good snack in the fridge. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It is a gorgeous day. I think I said that already. Um, but yeah. Okay, I am washed, dressed, showered. Uh, not in that order. I'm just gonna transform my bed into my sofa now. Um, so basically I just take the sheets off and put a blanket on instead and I might actually wash the sheets today. Um, so, I mean, I'll decide later. For now I'm just going to fold them up and um, put on the blanket. And to be quite honest, it's quite funny how this plane of a bed is like quite the aesthetic at the moment. Um, I quite like it. Obviously I'm going to have a real bed in my room at one point, but yeah. not used this washing machine before so let's give it a go it is a washer dryer um so i mean we can figure this out together even though you know i can't ask for help because it's not the day that you guys are watching this um but we can only give it a go also guys like i'm not okay um i'm not stupid it's just like i know how to use my washing machine at home it's a new washing machine so everyone is different 
so I need to put in liquid and soft, uh, not <laughs> powder and softener. So I got this one from Audi. Let's see. Oh my god, am I allergic to washing powder? Making me sneeze. Let's shut it and press start, I guess. Sounds, I actually think that the sound of a washing machine is really comforting, but it sounds like it's doing something. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get ready and I'll keep you guys updated. I feel like I should stay here whilst it's on, just in case. Um, I don't know if I mentioned I'm gonna do a food shop, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now and see what happens. Uh, but something's happening which is good well i just stopped when i started filming but there we go let's see how it turns out good morning everybody oh my god i do not feel great today i feel like i slept so rubbish i literally look gross i woke up in the night feeling so cold i went and put this on like I honestly, oh, makes me feel shivery thinking about it. Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel fine. Like I just feel a bit tired now because I've like my sleep was so interrupted because I was so cold. <sighs> and it's still snowy outside, which is making me look outside and think, oh my god, it's colder. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? <sighs> Just received a parcel with some top ups. No more. Shades of blue. These are all extra dark. Cute. Thank you, my darling. But yeah, I'm gonna have. Um, I just need something warm. I don't really drink warm drinks unless I go. Gross, but um, I started my new skin regime last night, so only for a couple nights around here. And I'm using like a um, eczema steroid cream. I've not actually looked in the mirror yet, something, but it feels like there's maybe it's calmed down. I think it looks as red. And then I've got a cream. Sorry, I've got, um, my dermatologist writes me like a skin regime whilst I use these. So I've got to use this on all the redness in the day. And then the other cream for the eczema is at night, but that's only for three nights. I can't use that any more than three nights and then let it settle. And then if it starts to flare up again, I can use it again for three nights, but I can't use it for longer than that because it must be too strong. And then I topped up on all my La Roche Posay stuff because well, whilst I'm having flare ups, it's best to stick to stuff that's just really soft and gentle on the skin, which La Roche Posay is. And then once my skin's calmed down a bit, um, I can go back to using other skincare. <sighs> Honestly, feel like hungover. This guy looks nice though. Very nice. Also, me and I were talking last night, and um, she's probably going to mention this too. But basically, because it's been snowy and everything, I've literally not been doing anything. And normally, I'd pop and see Nan. And please excuse how. Oh my god, I've got a spot coming up there. Rough I look. It's okay. Um, yeah, so I've not seen anyone in like three, four four days maybe so i'm technically like isolating again and i move next week and i was gonna say the date but i don't want to tell you the date yet just because i feel like it's pre I, I don't see any reason why it would change it can't it's in a contract now it's been signed but like i said i don't trust anyone in this property game but we both said 
we know we can form a bubble if we've both self isolated for 10 days and she's at her flat anyway so other than I think a f two three days ago a guy come in to like measure her kitchen she's not seen anyone either so obviously if something comes up and she has to go and see her family or I have to see Nan then like we'll reassess but as for now we both were subconsciously isolating without realising um, so yeah we might end up being able to be a bubble quicker than we thought so who knows but I'll keep you posted and I honestly need to go back, get back in bed I'm so cold I might do all my nails today because they look so gross like this like I actually don't mind natural nails I think they look cute but you know when like gel's all chipped off I need to redo them I honestly feel like ugh, gross I'll see you in a bit right guys I am going to head out I've waited around for the washing machine to be done but I don't know why it's taking so long I think I've put it on for a really long time and I think this is the time and I know it I think um and i know it only says 18 minutes only because it keeps going down but i've waited for so long um so yeah i think i've put it on for way too long but never mind um so yeah i'm gonna head out now and oh, i was gonna say yeah i'm just gonna get a food shop basically so i'll show you if i can but luckily i have an audi really close which is really good because i love audi very affordable and then the other shop is waitrose so i'm gonna go to audi first because cheap and cheerful and if they don't have everything that i want um because they sometimes they don't stock like everything then i might pop to waitrose as well um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i've got my bags because we're saving the planet um and i've got to take the bins out as well put them there's like a bin store so i'm just gonna buy bins i mean like one bin um but yeah i've just been cleaning tidying up and I mean, I think my sisters and my mum were like, this is like your new life. You're going to feel like you're cleaning all the time now. And I was like, yeah, like, I love it. And not going to lie, like, it's the first week of living here. And I do feel like most of the time I've been cleaning. Um, but obviously I do love, love it. And I'm going to take pride in having a clean and tidy space. So, yeah, that's my plan, basically. I'm going to head out the door now and get some goods so wish me luck oh my god it's so cold <sighs> just been to Aldi um honestly Aldi is a dark horse not even anymore because I think everyone gets the hype but I got pretty much everything I wanted even down to like the pasta shape I know it sounds stupid but I really, I really like rigatoni, which is quite a, not niche, but I thought they'd just have penne, to be honest. Maybe like the few silly one, but they had it. Um, so little things like that I was quite impressed with. I got all my condiments and stuff. Um, just things that I um, need that won't go out of date, if you know what I mean. Um, I am gonna pop to Waitrose to get some ice. I don't actually know if Audi had any, but I forgot to look, so it could have been my fault, but maybe they didn't have any. But yeah, I'm going to pop to Waitrose to get some extra bits, but all in all, very, very impressed, and it was so cheap. Well, I think it was cheap. Obviously, I'm not an expert on food shopping yet. Sorry about the lighting. Um, but I got pretty much, I'm still finding my whereabouts pretty much everything I wanted and like quite a big shop two big heavy bags so like the ones where um you reuse them so like a big um plastic bag two really heavy ones of those of like pasta condiments extra bits some veg um loads basically and it came to 50 pounds and I thought that was unreal 
sometimes like places like M&S and Waitrose, I know I'm backtracking because I'm about to go to Waitrose, but sometimes places like that you can get like only a few bits for like a lot of money. Um, but yeah, £50 for like a whole week's, probably two weeks worth of shop. I think that's really, really good. Um, it was actually less than that, by the way. Oh, the sun's out. But yeah, I'm going to see what Waitrose has to offer. Also, I really want to find those little moons. Um, you know, the... I think they're only in Tesco. The ice cream things. Um, so maybe I'll have to pop to Tesco and see if they do those. But the one near me is only small. But I really want to try those. Apparently they're unreal. Side note. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm back. I've got two massive bags from Aldi. Honestly, they are so heavy. And I've got so much stuff like all my condiments some drinks some squashes some fruit all my spreads some baking stuff like honestly don't have to buy anything for a long time this cost me like just under 50 pound like i said then i went to tesco to get a few extra bits um stuff that i didn't have um anyway not that important but just was like whilst them out i picked up this bag this is just one Tesco bag. It's quite heavy, but both of these are under 50. 35 pounds for this stuff. I think more, to be honest. And yeah, most of it is just some extra fruit. To be honest, I don't know why I didn't get that in Aldi. I just forgot. Um, yeah, 35 pounds. So best believe I'm literally only shopping in out there because as you grow up you become a bargain hunter but anyway i'm gonna put this all away and i've actually not really eaten today so i'm gonna have some food that i bought um and coming up the stairs because there's no lift in my apartment block it's a bit of a workout so don't tell me i don't work out because food shopping and bringing it up to the apartment is enough but yeah i'm gonna light some candles put some music on and unpack all this stuff Okay, so I have organised all my bits and I'm just going to show you guys roughly where I've put things. I don't know if they're going to stay here, um, but we will see. So the candles are giving me all the light. Um, so in these two cupboards, I have just put, um, I mean, the top is still just storage at the moment, but then this is just like tins. I mean, sorry if this is boring. I'll just skim through. Um, I got these for Christmas, they're just little spice jars, but I've not decanted any spices yet, I've only got a few, um, so they're just like a work in progress, and then, yeah, this is just all tin stuff, soup, beans, uh, pesto, salt and pepper, oil, things like that, and then this side I've got all my pasta, I just decanted all of this, looks so cute, um, some bread at the top, some bagels, and then this is just like sweet stuff. Well, not sweet, but do you know what I mean? Not tins, like more like jars. Um, so syrup, honey, biscoff, Nutella, peanut butter, Marmite. This is baking stuff. It's nice and tucked away. Um, and then I've just done my fridge. Now, <laughs> before I open it, I'm fully aware I live on my own. I'm fully aware I've done a big shop, but most of this stuff will not go out of date. And obviously... Um, hopefully I'll eat it all so yeah this side is looking very healthy and let me add as well I didn't buy all the chocolate my neighbour gave me some I don't have to explain myself actually no I don't but anyway um, so this is the door um, we have some Prosecco Georgia left me this when I moved in and there's still some left um, and then this is just milk. I don't really drink it, but I've got people coming in to do some work. And if they want a tea or something, I feel like I have to have it just in case. Um, some Diet Coke, some Coke, all my condiments. Like I said, this stuff won't really go out of date, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, my chocolate shelf. Love it. Eggs and cheese. And then I've just got some yogurt, some um, mousse, some jelly. Georgia left me these as well, so nice. Um, some garlic bread, some bacon and ham, some butter, and then these are my drinks. So oat milk is what I like, orange juice, lemonade for my gin, um, some fruit in here, and then some veg in here. 
and then freezer i've just got a frozen pizza yes that's ben and jerry's um i've got ice because i haven't got an ice mold yet so i know that's very expensive at the moment but i need to get one so i've just got some ice here and then yeah i just got a frozen pizza just in case i one day just cannot be bothered to cook um you know it's always good to have a frozen pizza veggie sausages some panel chocolates and then this cupboard again i don't know how i'm gonna do this one because it kind of curves around the back so at the back i've got a juicer because it's going to be things that i won't like reach for every day um but i want to get like some basket storages so it's like very easy to pull out things so at the top i've just got some cereals i've got some mug shots um a little pasta thing whoa um just on the go or a quick lunch and then I've got these um, little cereal bar things. This was actually to hold my utensils, but I don't want them on the side. They're all in here. I think I showed you guys that. Um, so I've just put some cereal bars in there. Again, I want to like make a nice little cute storage for that. And then these are crisp popcorn and some sweets. Um, so if you know me, you know I have to have sweets in my reach. Just in case, because I'm such a sweet tooth. Um, and I think that's it. So... Not loads of storage, but I was figuring like, I guess I don't really need that much. Um, this is probably the most stuff I'll have in unless I'm like hosting, but that won't need to stay in the fridge for long if you know what I mean. So yeah, I thought I would just give you a little tour. Guys, remember when I said that I was on my own, isolating? I just went upstairs and was like chilling, minding my own business, just doing me. Also, went for purple, kind of hate it. Come downstairs, I'm like, what is that racket? I have to be quite quick. Might have to mute it for a sec because copyright. Why is this boy in my house working out under my ring light? Good work, Turn it down because I wasn't gonna get copyright. La 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 la. Anyway, I'm not going near him. I know it kind of still is not the point, but he has assured me, we just had a chat, that this is the first and last time. And he's not gonna do this again because he's affected my bubble <sighs> honestly what a pest anyway I'm running a bath I'm still really really cold from this morning also I'm wearing the same tracks all yesterday because that you just you know by now that's how I roll and yeah I'm running a bath currently in bed and I just did a story and oh I didn't even show you I didn't show you so you know I was on the single bed it was just getting a bit annoying, so I blew up. Yep, that's my beer. I really have a thing for beer at the moment. Um, I blew up the double bed and I much prefer it. I actually um, have a bit of a soft spot for block beds. really like them. But yeah, I've got my beer. I've actually finished it. I really, really like Budweiser. That's really a bit peculiar, isn't it? Anyway, I just posted on my story that there's two things actually at the moment that I kind of want. And I don't know if it's one of the things that I want them because I can't have them. Because one is a Dyson Airwrap, which I wanted around Christmas. And I bought my nan the Dyson hairdryer not that long ago and when i was in there i was looking at the air up and i was like it does look really good and molly's got it and she loves it but i do love the hot brush by l so i put it off for a bit and then i was like i don't really need it whilst i've got short hair but everyone just says it's like a game changer so i'm like oh, i need it it's sold out everywhere and i really 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 want one and i also really really want a hotel chocolat <laughs> hotel chocolat um hot chocolate machine which is called the velvetizer hot chocolate machine and that sold out and i just put it as my story and this is really cute and to be fair recently i've had quite a lot of dms and i haven't responded and i haven't done a story about because i just don't think it's necessary um of people being like are you still with Cass? are you still with your boyfriend like what's happened you've not posted about him guys it's locked down <laughs> i'm not seeing him but really cute he just replied to my story 
um yes we do obviously text and phone but um because <laughs> i put that story up i literally put a story up saying there's two things i really want at the moment but just as like a just an open conversation so people could like dm me and say like no it's not worth it but literally everyone's like game changer game changer game changer game changer game changer i've not seen one negative comment one person said the 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 l hair hairbrush you've got is just as good but um i guess it's a matter of opinion and he literally replied to me and said um just sent you the money for the hot chocolate machine for valentine's and i put what the f why would you do that because i get really angry when people do stuff like that like obviously it's a very kind gesture and i appreciate it and i know he won't let me send it back because if i send it back he'll just send it back again um but yeah i i get i'm one of them girls i'm like i like to like i wasn't hinting i can app I appreciate it but like, i can buy myself a chocolate machine you know but it's very cute and we did kind of discuss valentine's valentine's sunday um this sunday and I, I don't think that the reason I'm stuttering is because I don't think this vlog is going up then because we've got another video going up but it'll be around Valentine's and obviously we can't see each other so we've kind of discussed and we were like what should we do should we just do cards and we kind of said we'd just do cards um so yeah it was a bit random but um I'll cover up my swearing because that's very naughty but yeah this is what he just said how cute so now I'm looking online and it is it it literally is sold out everywhere. I found the gold one on Curry's. And part of me is like, I actually quite like the gold, but do I like the gold because it's the only one available? To be fair, the grey one's available. But I, I think if a gun was to my head, I'd go for the white one. But then thinking about it, my kitchen and my new flat is cream. So I don't know if the white will be a little bit too like the wrong you know the wrong tone so the gold is quite cute so i don't know that's my big decision this evening but yeah how cute i'm about to have a hot chocolate machine i'm such a hot chocolate junkie like for years i never liked coffee and i still don't love coffee like i like a latte but it's got to have a syrup in it i'm a hot chocolate gal but i will let you know if i what i decide i think i'm gonna go for it because I feel like otherwise I'm like wasting his Valentine's present. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to spend it on like petrol. <laughs> oh, big life choices in lockdown. I think I'm going to order it. <laughs> right, so I ordered the chocolate, uh, hot chocolate machine. I literally ordered it about five minutes after I shut the camera off. And I can't remember if I said what colour I got. I got the copper. Um, a, because it was like the only one available, but B, I think it'll go really nice in my kitchen. And I was, I'm in an iron about getting gold cutlery. I know it's very mixed opinions, but I think it could be a vibe, you know. Sorry, I just literally burped under my breath. That was disgusting. Um, my hair, let's talk about it. Elephant in the room. I'm trying the heatless curls. This one's gonna look better than this one with the dressing gown robe across your head. Um... mixed thoughts i don't know i think my hair is going to be a bit too short for it um i think when i had my really really long hair it would have been amazing i do have quite curly wavy hair anyway but by the time i've like been running around the house and then it's like half brushed out it will literally go like haggard so i'm interested to see if this works because i actually don't curl my hair that much anyway actually because i think this is really good for people that curl their hair a lot and stuff like that um do we think this is going down at all sometimes i look in the mirror and i think it is and then i think it's not the eczema journey i don't even think it's eczema i thought it was and now i'm like it's not guys when you have good skin grab it with both hands and be grateful because i i was raving about it saying my skin was amazing now look at me look where we are don't be cocky people stay grounded anyway i'm gonna go to sleep now it's getting really late it is half 11 yikes yeah it's bedtime good night guys hey guys sorry i have not vlogged today um and it's getting late let me show you what i got from tesco so it's all stuff for the kitchen um so i got this baking tray very exciting. Um, I just needed some bits basically um, to, 
start cooking properly like i have made a couple of things but I've, I've not actually got like well i've just bought them now but i didn't have anything to cook things in properly if you know what i mean i got these oh these aren't from tesco because they just got delivered but they're really nice tea towels from uh debenhams they were they weren't the cheapest in the world but i really liked them they're like a waffle material um so yeah oh i look at them with my oven gloves how cute they'll match when my kitchen gets changed this is really nice this is uh go cook i don't know if that's just tesco but it has like a little bit of a texture so two of those um they do have like a multi-pack of these but only in gray and i wanted them in black so i had to get them separately and then i got some pans saucepans then i bought myself an iron um phillips tesco sold it it was like 20 pounds which i thought was quite good i didn't i didn't i don't really know how much irons were but quite good i think and this one's just like the plainest one they had some re for some reason irons are so colorful did anyone else find that um but this one is just black and white or gray so yeah quite cute and then i think i got some other bits i got my bathroom towels from tesco as well um let me get them but yeah they're like a really nice beigey color that's it really i'm gonna unpack this mess i'll show you what i'm looking at right now but it is so cozy in here the camera stopped i've got my slippers on that sid bought me i've got my candles lit um i might even might even have a gin you know why not having steak and i've got the chips cooking in the oven i'm gonna give them a little turn actually or a little shake shake right i'm gonna have to turn that right down straight away but i'm gonna start cooking my steak so i thought i would show you guys um i'm gonna put on my hob such a boring um recipe to film but i'm just going to sear my steak i like it quite rare anyway medium rare i'm gonna turn it right up so i've put on a um r b playlist it's like my favorite type of music r b playlist from apple it's called uk r b slash soul and it's updated like every day and it's music that i don't really have never heard of maybe the odd song but um i love it i love listening to music that i don't actually know um i mean obviously i love listening to music that i can belt out as well let's go hopefully it's hot enough See, if it's not hot enough, it won't make that noise. Dinner, very simple. Like I said, I wish I had a sauce or veg, but I don't. Um, and yeah, my steak is cooked put to perfection, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this. Um probably sit over there with it and yeah that's about it really so easy good evening i wish i'd vlogged a little bit earlier because the sun was shining and my makeup looked really nice i finally finally used the charlotte tilbury flawless airbrush what's it called you put it like under your makeup makes you really glowy and i actually really really like it really nice i use the shade four this is a problem that i need to stop forgetting my hands but yeah really really like it it's they say you can use it on its own as like a minimal coverage and it's got a really nice like sheeny glow to it so i put it under my foundation and i really really enjoy it this color hair I've decided I love it so much when I've got makeup on, but when I've not got makeup on, I do look a bit like I'm going to be in a vampire film. A bit like I'm going to audition for Twilight or something. So, it's a bit of a love-hate. 
I know a few people have like things to say about it. People, a lot of people are like, oh, would your old hair is so nice. To be fair, 90% of people love me this colour. And people close to me, like my family and friends who know me very well, like me darker. My nan said she wishes I was a smidge more like of a caramelly brown. But I said it would fade and it just hasn't really faded that much. But that's fine. Um... But yeah, the blonde is high maintenance and it killed my hair. That's why I've gone so short now. I've always had like bum length hair, but it was dead. It was honestly dead. And I think I'm a bit over the short hair a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. I like short hair. It's easier to handle and it's easier to style, but I did speak to Beauty Works the other day and I was like, we might need to like discuss. Obviously, I can't have extensions at the moment, but I think I'm going to get like a braid so I can have it for like picks and stuff and kind of I want to experience long hair again so I can be like oh thank god I've got short hair do you know what I mean so yeah I'm in that little funk at the moment and I'm actually wearing something from the new Kindless collection coming from In Style, and we've designed our own jumpers too which if you follow on us, follow us on Instagram you'll know that we ask you guys to help us choose quotes and we're bringing out jumpers so that 100% of the profits can go to the Samaritans. Mine says, to one person, to the world you are one person, to one person you are the world. How true is that? How true is that? Like, if you're ever feeling down and worthless, just think, I am everything to my family. I'm everything to my friends. I am everything to my boyfriend or whatever. So many people love you and worship you and you are it. You are that girl or that boy. Um, yeah, it's all about just spreading love, positive vibes. There's a lot of really sad stories going on with mental health at the moment. So anything to raise awareness, we are all about, all about. And yeah, help us spread that love too. This uh, By the time this video is up, I think the Kindness Collection would have launched. So go check it out. No pressure at all to buy anything, but it's obviously a really, really good cause. Money's going to charity. We don't make any money from it. I'm not being told to say this right now. Anything you see about it on Instagram, we're not being told to say about it. We just feel like, hello, why would you not want to raise awareness for such an amazing cause? So, if I can find the link, or if it's still available, I'll link it in the description box. So go check out the In The Style Kindness Collection, and all the In The Style girls have designed some clothes, so go check it out. Caught about out of breath. Um, yeah, it's getting late in the evening, and I'm, well, oh, my battery's flashed. Do you think, my camera not focused, but it's run out of battery. That's rude. Okay guys, so I am gonna be going to bed now and I've got my pajamas on that Sid got me for our Valentine's uh Galentine video. I think you guys would have already seen that one. I think. Um but they are so cute. She got them from ASOS and yeah, they're so soft. They are from Chelsea Piers and I think they're from ASOS, so honestly so so comfortable um but yeah i'm gonna close out the vlog now on my part because um how i'm literally getting to getting into bed and then tomorrow is probably going to be another repeat of today and um yeah basically i vlogged loads this week so i don't want it to get um too repetitive <laughs> Um, and obviously too long because we always feel like we've not vlogged loads this, like in the week and then when you put it together it's actually quite long so um, yeah I'm going to leave it there I hope you guys enjoyed um, next week Sid is moving upstairs um, so exciting like all of our dreams come true basically and it's been a long time coming so she finally gets her keys I'm not sure if she'll move in straight away I didn't live here the first night um, we are going to become a bubble which is so exciting because obviously she's at home on her own and the rules are if you are on your own for 10 days um, when you're moving then you can bubble with another single household after the 10 days after you've both been in your own for 10 days um 
so yeah that's what we're doing currently i think sid might have mentioned it in the vlog as well uh so yeah by the time she moves it would have been 10 days where i can finally see her and we can finally film again she can come over i can go to hers um yeah i like it's gonna be so worth it that we've not filmed t together um in months so yeah stay tuned for that but i hope you guys enjoyed this one um settling into my new place with me and yeah i'll see you in the next vlog Good night. <laughs>